I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I'm called the Big Game Hunter because I've hunted down leaders and staff for organizations for more than 40 years. And now I work with people around the world to help coach you into new roles. And being clear, I'm not a recruiter. I'm a coach who helps you perform at a higher level and helps you land the position more quickly. Welcome to No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 776 of the show that has the most episodes about job search in all of iTunes, in all of iTunes history. Now, today's show is really the second part of my Mechanics of Interviewing series. And this one, I talk about stupid interview mistakes and not asking great questions, but you'll understand why I refer to it as part two in just a moment. Now, I want to encourage you, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, to send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. And I'd also appreciate it if you came to Facebook, looked for Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter, and connected with me there. Give me five stars, a thumbs up, a great review. I'd really appreciate it. And with that, let's get going. This is one of my videos in the Stupid Interview Mistakes series that I've been doing. And it involves not asking questions, let alone not asking great questions. Now, sometimes you walk in completely unprepared and you're kind of frozen. Uh, so when they get around to ask you, so do you have any questions for us? No, you've done a great job of explaining everything to me. And that's not the right answer. They want to make sure that you have insightful thinking, uh, that you demonstrate a certain amount of uh, care in your questions. So it's important to ask them. Now, I just want to say I've got uh, an ebook. It's available on Amazon, I think, for $5 at my website. Pay what you want for it. Please pay me at least $2 for it, okay? And it's called No BS Questions You Should Ask on Any Interview. It's a series of questions that you can ask uh, on the interview. Uh, so when they say, so you have any questions for us, they're not just asking them about the job. That's my advice to ask at the beginning of the interview, is to ask about the job before it starts, the interview starts. So at the end of the interview, I don't want you asking about the job because they've already covered it. I want you asking some of these questions. Now, I don't think I've added these two into this book. I'm going to do it shortly. But in the meantime, I want to make sure that you have the best advice possible. So here are two great questions to start off with. Okay. So when they say, so do you have any questions for us? Let's say you hire me and I come on board. What do you expect from me in the first 30, 60, and 90 days after I join. And this is going to give you an idea of their acclimation process and how they're going to measure you at the beginning of your employment there. I think it's a great question. And now here comes the greatest question you can ask. So it's a year from now, and it's time to give me my review. And I haven't just done a good job. I've done a spectacular job. As a matter of fact, this, the work I've done has been amongst the best that you've ever seen. What would I have accomplished during that year that would cause you to think that way? Ding, 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 ding. Home run question. You know, Don't glide over the first one and just go to the second. You need to know what they're going to be looking for from you in, at the beginning of your employment to start off with. So start with that one. Go to the second one next and then use some of the addition, <clears throat> excuse me, some of my additional questions from the ebook. You will demonstrate that you're a great fit, that you're smart, and it's going to close out the interview very well. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, here are a few other ways that we can connect with one another. The first one is if you're an executive and interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, email me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us. In the subject line, put the word coaching, so this way I know that what it's about. Next, if you're not an executive, the best way to reach out to me is through jobsearchcoachinghq.com. There I have curated information from around the web that you can watch, listen to, read, primarily my own information, but Again, there's some stuff from other people that's there with their permission.
Also, if we are not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love to hear from people who listen to the show. It just puts a big smile on my face, which reminds me, Facebook, connect with me on Facebook. Look for Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and give me five stars subscribe to the to the page you'll get lots of information sent to you daily with different pieces of advice for you and lastly because i don't really mention this on the show all that much in addition to job search coaching i do executive and what i call business life coaching you know business life coaching where i work with self-employed people who have a lunatic for a boss you know people like your wife husband partner friends of yours who may be either wrestling with something in their business and and need an advisor to work with or you know people who are doing extremely well and they need to have someone to talk with because business is just exploding for them so again reach out to me through jeff altman at the big game hunter dot us i'll get back to you we'll figure out a time to speak i look forward to helping you hope you enjoyed this again and have a great day take care